You talked a little bit about leaders. How would you describe your own leadership style? And give us an example. So I tend to ma manage by walking around. I want to know what everybody's doing. I like flat organizations. Right? I will, uh, sometimes to my staff's dismay, I will reach around the entire staff and go to the program. I want to know what's going on. I need to know the details on many things. I don't micromanage, but I will delegate everything. I'm a big believer that I need to, you need to delegate everything. But I, I want to know who's doing what. I, I don't, I'm always concerned about getting status and having it be filtered by multiple layers of management. I want to talk to the people who are doing the work. I want to know at the factory floor what is going on because that gives me a sense of the risk that we are carrying or not carrying and I want to get that in a very, very crisp way without it having to be filtered by anyone. I'm a big believer in allowing people to succeed and fail. I've seen too many organizations where the minute we have someone who may be weak, we do everything we can to make sure that they don't ever fail and we basically do their job for them. I learned early on that that's not good. We need to allow people to succeed and fail. People don't want to fail. People will not fail if you let them succeed and fail. They will figure out how to succeed all the time. And by propping them up, you're actually hurting them, which means that I have to accept uh, that every once in a while, my staff will fail, and I have to fly cover for them. I have to protect them, right? It's on me to make sure that they know that they fail, but I, I need to make sure that folks above me don't do anything to make sure that that individual, because then if I don't protect them, then the learning that they will get from that failure will not be applied by them. So one of my responsibilities is to protect my staff, allow them to succeed and fail and make sure that they're exposed to everyone when they succeed, but protect them when they fail so they can learn from it and move on. And I'm a big believer in small teams. Um, you know, I, I think that the best projects are done with small, eclectic, set of teams that have lots of different skills. I read hundreds of emails and I send hundreds of emails every day. I'm a big believer that you have to over communicate to people. You can't over communicate. Now that could, that could be a big frustrator if you work in my organization because you're going to hear about the status of my project more, more than you want to. But in that status there is a theme. There is a theme about what the priority is and if we're shifting Right? And there's so many times in a project there are subtle shifts, very subtle, that are not easy to communicate unless you over-communicate. So the subtlety of the shift that you're making and the directional change you're taking is understood by sometimes dozens, sometimes hundreds of people who are in the middle of a project. We have a, you know, our project, our um, property tax system is a huge project. We have hundreds of people working on it. It's important that on a weekly basis we communicate what we're trying to do. and. I would say that right now, we we'll probably need to do even better. I am not satisfied that we are communicating correctly on a consistent basis on these major projects. Uh, I never feel comfortable about that. I always feel that there's something else that we need to tell everyone, right? To get that, what I, I, I tend to use the word alignment a lot. I believe in alignment on multiple levels and alignment is something you work on every day because the fact is that the business changes every day, priorities change every day, the way we all feel every day, you know, there's pressures on us every day. So you need to always work at maintaining alignment. And the other term I tend to use is you need to, we need to make that part of the fabric of what we do every day. If you're, if you're working at alignment as a separate work stream, something's wrong. Alignment has to be in the fabric of all the other work streams. That's a very critical, and it's, it works sometimes, sometimes it's harder to do than others, but those are the, 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 the key, I think, the key strengths of my management style.